What does a transfer window in an online save, especially in the Premier League, look like? First season, I told you I'm not the king of England, but I am the king of the dust, bro. I went in there looking like Ghostbusters with their tire and got rid of a lot of dust. Not all of it, but a lot, bro. First season, 57 million out. Jaden Bogle to West Ham, that was a beautiful deal. Shout out, Kreshnik. Um, Rian Brewster, get rid of that dust. Can't even start for my team. Emil Kraft, got him for free. Ended up selling him for 7.5 million. Beautiful business. Chris Basham, um, he went to Manchester City. If you're wondering how that happened, Manchester City were trying to get destroyed from the inside. Someone took over them to infiltrate and destroy them. They ultimately failed, but at least they tried. Good effort. Thank you for the money. And we keep on going. Oli McBurney, 5 million. Um, he was a brilliant striker. He was scoring a lot of goals for me. I still sold that dust, bro. West Fotheringham, um, for some reason... My boy Tom wanted him and I sold him, innit? Who cares, bro? 3.7 million in my bank. <laughs> hey, bro, wait, wait. 3 million for Max Lowe, who I regret selling. I wish I had him still. Daniel Jebison for 5 million overall to Leeds, but 2 million up front. Amadou Diawara, who I foolishly signed to play right back, as you can see. It's not going to happen, bro. And the rest of my players that I sold were so dusty, they're not even worth talking about. So moving on to the 97 million that I brought in. 36 million for Ilan Meslier, who's a competent goalkeeper, great at shot stopping, that's all I really needed, cool. Sebastian Borselli, I signed him to be a centre-back, but he can't do it, so I have to put him right back now. Sad, bruv. Um, Tales Magna, I signed him to be a winger, can't do it, I have to put him up front. All of these L's, all of these L's. Connor Chaplin, I signed him to be a winger, and I have to play him up front as well. Comes off the bench, bangs in a couple goals. That's what, that's about it still. Lewis Jr. I signed him to be my number one, and now he's my number two. I swear, I signed him first. I signed him way before Meslier, but he's not good enough, bro. You saw that composure, eight composure. I can't put belief in that. Luke Wolfen. Then I kind of hit up Ipswich because I saw what they were doing in real life, and I wanted a piece of that. And yeah, this guy's a quality centre back in the game, Premier League level but at a low Premier League level for sure. Philip Bunga, one of my go-to signings from now on because he's just so clinical, well, consistent. Uh, he's not clinical still, but yeah. He gets better with time. Daniel Svensson, fantastic young left-back that I signed, bro. Um, Amadou Duyawara, like I said, foolishly signed him to play right-back. Didn't work out, bro. Horrible. Um, Hubert Gresic, I kind of feel like I got scammed 500k by Arsenal. Now he's on loan to Tranmere Rovers. Embarrassing, bro. Embar embarrassing. What a waste of money, bro. I could have done so much better. Max Morrison, I think, is an absolute bargain. 400 bags for someone that's going to turn into Baby Hulk in the future. He's got he's got about 12 strength, 6 foot 4. It'll happen. Give him give him some time, bro, if you get me. Um, and Herrera, 88k. Yeah, man. Um, If you want to see his stats, you can. He's doing all right. He got injured for me one time, but he's still doing a decent job, 34 years old. Bayer, what a loan that was. Emil Kraft. Got him for free, sold him for 7 million, like I said. And Barrow, what a waste of a loan. Pato did a brilliant job on loan for me, but now he's a coach. Manchester City managed by Micah, your boy. He took over during the season after the attempted infiltration of Manchester City. So we're going to see what he did to save them and what happened before he came in. I've arranged it by date just so you can see when the old manager's betrayal began from the inside. All right, so a good couple future signings. Carlos Elena, that's a good club signing. Zeno de Bast, fantastic for the future. Martin de Roon, another one that's good for now. Archie Gray, fantastic future signing. Same with Valentin Barco. Imagine if you're Rodri, Champions League winner, you come back from your holiday and you come and see Chris Basham getting changed in your dressing room. That's going to start a civil war. That might just spark an internal war. Chris Basham for 7 million from Sheffield United. Kerr Smith, 25 million. That's disrespectful. Lucas Digne, 50 million. He's a good player, to be honest. That's the only one that kind of makes sense. Courtney House for 15 million. Jeffrey Slup for 10 million. Malcolm Ebui for 5 million. Rex Saki for 20 million. What a waste of money. What a waste of money. He retired after that. Tried to get them relegated. It didn't work. New manager comes in and does an absolute masterclass, honestly. Asan Urirago, fantastic future signing. We got Gilam Restes, another beautiful future signing right there. Jamal Musiala. That's when you know, hey, it's long. It's long now. Hey, Florian Verts in the same window. Aaron Ramsdale, who was meant to be mine, but once again, I got robbed. A lot of hijacks have happened, bro. Nuno Mendes, fantastic for the future as well. Martin Dardai, um, that's a fantastic midfielder. Flipping hell. 
David Jurasek in the game he looks decent the outs weren't nearly as interesting as the ins Josh Gavardio 117 million and then it drops down to Callum Doyle Jeffrey Schlupp which is a lot of money to get for Jeffrey Schlupp Tommy Doyle and Stefan Ortega that's about it so it's decent that's first season Crystal Palace managed by the legend D. Kwan Razi. we're gonna find out the transfers that he did in his first season Transfers out 50 million and Manchester City were the parent club for Crystal Palace's first transfer window. Um, Rekseki 20 million, Slup 10 million, Mateta to Ajax decent 9 million and Iboi 5 million. Um, Ride a while to Valencia 4 million. So yeah, some fantastic business from a Crystal Palace point of view absolutely incredible he brought in a large number of players which came up to 69 million which is truly poetic um tiago armida beautiful player marcos leonardo as well 13 million michael gregorich target forward decent player as well valentin gendry little center back yeah that's solid three million for pizarro which is a gem that i need to sign because mentally he looks incredible pianic deep plan playmaker one of the embodiments or ambassadors of that role fantastic footballer bruv um Jose Cordoba, who looks like he just spent too much time in the gym, but that's not a bad thing. It's actually pretty good. Emil Hoyland, I don't know why you signed him, but um, you got to give him some time, to be honest. He's only, he's only 19 um, for about a million. Jordi Alba, 500k. Carlos Lumberas, 200,000. Yeah, you might want to get your money back still. You know, he's, he's only 19, to be honest. Pablo Barrios, I don't know if this is a loan to buy, but 8 million loan fee. Yeah, that's probably a loan to buy, and he's a quality midfielder. Definitely a creative one. Johan Bakioko with his eight finishing scored a lot of goals for Dequan, so it was a solid loan as well. Habib Diara, another loan. He's exploited the loan market, as you can see. Manuel Solomon, another loan. Chiquinho, another loan as well. Um, that's a decent technical player from the mighty Benfica. Andre Franco. Yeah, they done. he done a good job still. 69 million. Arsenal managed by Corey. Let's see what he got up to in the first transfer window. Arsenal probably have the crowns for the best business done in terms of outgoings. 200 million gained, yeah. Alexander Zinchenko for 47 million. How did you fleece them like that? How? PSG probably just have money to waste um take hero tomiyasu for 44 million that confirms my suspicions on money to waste bro um aaron ramsdale 40 million to man city eddie and ketia 35 million that's probably the bargain of the window i'll be honest for um arsenal fabio vieira 30 million i think stat wise he, he, he looks fantastic to be honest Jorginho, 6 million to al shabab Mohamed El Neni, it's about time they got rid of him, 4.6 million. Um, he sold Grasic to me for 500,000. And the rest of the transfer outs are dust or loans, so we'll go to what he brought in. So, starting with the most expensive, 100 million for Dusan Vlahovic. They need something like that, and he got it. Giorgino Scalvini for 90 million, some fantastic deals. Donnarumma for only 62 million. I'll be honest, man. Amadou Onana. He's got a couple bargains in here. Arda Gula for 43 million. That's, you know who he's trying to replace by making that kind of deal. Yeah, it's quite obvious. Um, Jeremy Frimpong for only 30 million. I mean, yeah, he's probably king of bargains. Rooney Baji. Manuel Neuer for 8 million. Um, yep. N'Golo Kante for 5 million. Alidu Saidu for 6 million. So I'm assuming that's squad depth. He brought in Hulk, who once again, meant to be mine, got robbed. Amu Diawara, he helped me out by signing him for 1 million. He didn't really need to do that. So I appreciate it. Thank you. David Luiz, I don't know what he was trying to relive. I don't think it's reminiscing either because it definitely wasn't good times, bruv. Um, Jacob Ramsey and, uh, and that's a loan. And Mokoko is another loan. So yeah, I think he had one of the best windows. Arsenal, shout out Corey. Liverpool managed by Bulls McLongcock. Yeah, man, let's find out what he got up to in that first window. With the transfer outs, he only made 17 million and that predominantly came from Thiago, um, you know, gone to Al Nasser, got that Saudi bag, and Joe Matip as well for 7 million. So that's about it because the rest looks like a bunch of dust. So yeah, we get out of there and we talk about what he brought in, which is flipping incredible. Like no nonsense, just pure attack, all out attack. Look at this, Jules Conde, 100 million. Man said, I'm not playing any games. I'm going to slap out the cash. And he did it. Just got Vario. He just fixed his defense just like that, bro. James Madison, 88 million in the first season. Hey, each to their own. Victor Ossiman. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to see what Ossiman got up to when I make the video about what everyone did in the first season. Warren Zare Emery, which is a fantastic future signing. Wonder Kids, fantastic stat-wise as well. And 
Man's Rui, always one of my favourites to sign. My boy Paul Gerlin, managing Brighton. Let's see what he got up to in his first transfer window. Transfer out to Brighton, 325k for the first season. That's dusty as hell. We got 173 million for the ins though. Jean Claire Todibo is the most expensive signing, 70 million. He looks great. Um, Lazar Samadzic, fantastic creative midfielder. Kyle Walker Peters, flipping out. Oh, that's a good squad depth, right back or left back. Patrick Berg for 15 million. When you see the stats, ah oh, man, beat me to it still. What a quality player. Vanderson, fantastic wing back as well for 17 million. Lucas Perry for 8 million. Yeah, look at that. Sheesh. Hey, what the flip? That's a sick goalkeeper, you know. Um, Adrian Mazilu. Um, yeah, you, you already know what it is. That's not my kind of play. That's a bit dusty for me. Who cares? Um, look at that. Fidel goal. Sheesh. Good deals. He had some good players in there. Some gems, for real. My boy Tom took over Aston Villa. Let's see what he brought in because he came a little bit late. So we'll see how he got on. Transfers out 132 million. So Lucas Digne, I think that's a decent deal for both parties because he's still a fantastic player. 50 million is a decent representation of his value. But curse me for 25 million. Some would do just end this. End it, bro. 25 million. Man City were doing a madness. Diego Carlos for 21 million to Real Madrid. That's decent. I ain't going to lie. 18 strength Courtney House for 15 million that's once again kind of fair enough to be honest it's not bad Leander Dendonka for a 10 million decent player once again bro um Bertrand Chayore for 7.5 Robin Olsen goalkeeper for about 2 million Ben Christine 1 million Tommy O'Reilly 200,000 so yes yeah, pure dust now so we're going on to the transfers in 221 million Ryan Shaki for 80 Five million. I'll be so honest, that's the biggest overpay I've seen in a while. I ain't gonna lie, that is ridiculous. 85 million. Wow. Um, Dominic Carver win 54 million. We know in Football Manager, he scored a lot of goals, so why not, bruv? Andre, um, he told me about Andre, and yeah, he looks pretty well rounded. Decent player right there. That's a good player. 25 million. Omar Soleil, uh, 15 million for a centre back. Yeah, it's decent. He's not bad. 24. Rodrigo Volagra, that's my player that I got robbed. Again, another robbery, another one. Um, no one knew about him until I opened my mouth and then he ends up at Aston Villa. Aiton Lucas, wing back, he's, he, he's got a lot of pace, to be honest. That's about it. Husim Awa, little technical midfielder. West Fotheringham, thank you for that. Um, decent backup, though, I'll be honest. But yeah, I needed, I needed the money, bro. You get me? Max Lowe, three million. Like I said, I kind of regret that deal. Carlos Vela, once again, meant to be mine, got robbed, bruv. Um, another player of mine that got robbed. Julian Agarezebla, I don't know what is going on here. He's a decent backup, I guess. No clue, bruv. Matisse Tell, loan to buy, or just a loan, but it's a brilliant player if he has him. He doesn't have him, he doesn't have him. Okun Koku, once again, tried to get him on loan, ends up at Aston Villa. Robbed once again. Um, Anthony Martial banged in a hat trick against me. A couple bargains, but also a couple very questionable ones, in my opinion. Newcastle originally managed by Clicks, but he retired, so John took over. So let's find out what they got up to in their transfer window in the first season. Transfers out 475k. So that just shows you they kept a lot of the quality that they already had. And. <sighs> In, <laughs> going from most expensive, yeah, I'm not even going to go in terms of time. Let's just go most expensive. Kevisha Kavaskelia. See, now this is going to cause terror in our league long term. Heprin Turam, arguably one of the best box to box in the game. Maybe you know, Diogo Costa, fantastic goalkeeper. Brilliant business, man. Sheesh. Michael Kayode, 52 million for a wing back, and he's absolute quality. He's 20 years old. Look at this. Flipping hell, bruv. Usman, Dio, man, you don't want to give it up. You don't want to give man a chance, bro. 16 strength. He's got the wonder kids, you know. I'm I'm deep in it. Newcastle have got the, the young gems. Strahinja Pavlovich. Look at this. Flipping 23 years old. Hugo Duro, 22 million from Valencia. What a flipping bargain. 16 off the ball, my lord, man. Callum Doyle, only 20 million for this. And you know what he's going to turn into. If you know, then you know, innit? Hugo Gilamon, how much was that? 13 million for this. Um, defensive midfielder that can't win the ball. So yeah, that's a bit of a squad player, quite obvious. Martin Batterino, I think I got robbed for this one. I said I was going to sign him and then he ends up at Newcastle still. 
robbed. Um, Patrick Dogu, 7.5 million. Yeah, it's quite dusty still. I don't know why he signed Jelson Martins, but he got Claudio Echeverri on a loan. Don't know if that's a loan to buy, but uh, yeah, it's a fantastic young talent, bro. Fantastic. Joao Veloso. In the future, I imagine he's going to develop very well. Archie Gray, another brilliant loan as well. So, yeah, he went all out. Manchester United, originally managed by my boy CJ, but he retired. So, my boy Joel had to step in and save them for, from what happened. <laughs> and in the first season, 26 million was gained from Joe Hugill. Victor Lindelof for 23 million, which is a lot of money, to be honest. Shola Shortire on loan to Everton. I think that was a loan to buy. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't a loan. It was actual money, 500,000, sheesh. And then a loan to buy for Anthony Martial, I imagine. And um, for the ends, Marcel Sabitzer signed to Manchester United. Sebastian Haller, so he hit up Richard Dortmund. I think this was CJ, you know. Mies Hilgers, um, I don't know what's going on there, I'll be honest. But I know he develops well. That's what I can say, really. And then Tian Koopminer's fantastic footballer. And I actually believe none of these were Joao. They are all CJ's. Joao has come into the save and he hasn't made one signing yet. West Ham, originally managed by my boy Kreshnik, but he retired. So it's Frederick Tomlinson that's taken over. West Ham active and 55 million out, which came from Aaron Questwell for 1.8 million. Ben Johnson, 11 million. 2.3 million for Mikko Antonio. 17 million for Pablo Fornaus. Maxwell Cornet loan to buy Lucas Fabianski 1 million to Al Fateh who is now a coach 500k for Angelo Agbona who's retired Kurt Zuma for 19 million to Leicester which is an absolute bargain for the ends 205 million man weren't playing no games Jeremy Pino 65 million Eddie Nketiah 35 million who in the game stat wise looks flipping incredible somehow Kayo Enrique um <laughs> man said Enrique Enrique for 29 million that's a fantastic wing back um, attacking Elgif Elmaz, great midfielder as well. Uh, Jaden Bogle, Kreshnik signed him because apparently he's quality. And you know, he's retained the good value. And you know, in the game and in real life, Bogle is a fantastic player, to be honest. Alban Lafont, solid goalkeeper. He's a backup for now. Jordan Teze, 13 million, decent um, defender. Mario Pasilic, 9 million. Kayan Edwards from Arsenal for 300k and the rest are loans quarter. From Fiorentina, that's a solid centre back flip, you know. Um, Chowdhury, I can never understand. And Thomas Lemar is a decent loan. Man like Paps came late into the season, but got a couple of his transfers over the line in the first window, so let's see what he got up to. 5.5 million for the outs. Joe Ruffwell, 3.4 million, absolute bargain for Paps. Keith Moore for 1.4 million, another bargain. And the rest are dusty loans. So yeah, um, 60 million for Bournemouth. Let's see what he got up to. So, most expensive, Nihen Perez from Udenese, a centre back, 15 tackle. Yeah, that's pretty decent. 12 million. Nelson Wiper. Yeah, they told me to sign him, but he ended up at Bournemouth. Brilliant for the future. Brilliant for the future. Um, Sergi Pinyev, 12.5 million from Lokomotiv Moscow. Oh, yeah, flipping out. Quality. Quali, quali. Erin El Mali for 12.25 million. I'm probably messing up the pronunciation, but it won't be nearly as bad as the way the defenders will probably mess him up as well. So I'll probably get a pass. Nicolas Sanchez, 6.25 million. And command, pretty decent as well. Um, Franco Gonzalez from Penarol. Man, got all of the unknown, but 20, 16 finishing with a fit, 20 years old. Yeah, you know what he's doing. Pabs, Pabs knows the gems. Andrea Carboni, 3 million. Uh, yeah, that's oh, wait, that's a loan. I think it was a loan, was it? Oh, he sold him already. Ah, uh, see, Ivan Azon pressing forward for infinition. Yeah, 17 work rate. I see the intention, he's got a lot of intent, bruv. Uh, Costinha for 2.1 million wing back defend who can very much defend. Solid player, um, Caden Rodney, 700,000. Yeah, just pure dust in my face. Hugo Ekiteki on loan from PSG. That's a solid player that he's brought in there sheesh yeah man he's oh and Vestergaard as well is he still there wow some serious gems in there Bournemouth got some serious hidden talent moment of silence for all the managers that joined and never came back um Fulham we got Kreshnik CJ Hussein Thomas Richard Tim which is the funniest one because I saw the scoreline he was getting battered like 5-1 and then he left <laughs> he never came back and then his flipping team went on to win the Carabao Cup and they 
give problems to all of us in the league. So that's why we've kept him there. Um, Luton, Brentford. So yeah, a couple ones that haven't come back. But yeah, man, big up everybody in the online save. And we're going to be making a video about what happened in season one very soon. You'll see it soon. So yeah, big up everyone. Have a good day.